In this concept video, we're gonna talk about the amount of trail arm bend or right arm bend for right-handed golfers and how video can deceive what is really going on. So in a group I'm in, there was a recent discussion about how the right arm should be at impact, if it's straightening, bending, how much bend, because on video it looks like some tour pros have it bent 90 degrees and it looks like most amateurs have it dead straight. Well, when I do 3D motion, what I find is that these are kind of my two barrier numbers. If I bring it like so, you can see that that angle that right there is 160. This is when it starts to really look straight on video. Well, this second one right here is 138. 138 is the tour average. So the difference between that and that is really how much elbow bend is, is the difference between something that looks good and something that doesn't. But I'm gonna show you that it's really because of an optical illusion. Okay, so let me show you how this optical illusion takes place because no movement in the golf swing happens in isolation. It's all part of a bigger picture that's going on. So the guys who have 138 degrees or the tour average also tend to have 30 degrees of side bend, 30 degrees of rotation, uh, 20, 30 degrees of wrist or, or extension like so. And an unmeasurable, at least on my system, amount of what we call abduction or the elbow moving across your, sorry, adduction or the elbow moving across towards your belly button which is one of the reasons why we focus on that so much in the site. So I'm gonna demonstrate what's going on here and hopefully this will make the trail elbow bend and the visual a lot more clear for you. So I'm gonna lock my arm in by putting it here up against this goniometer at 138. So now I'm gonna bend forward and get the club in my hand and so that it's flush up against my wrist like so. Now this is essentially how much bend the tour average is at impact. Now that does not look like 90 degrees or like a lot of the video show of the best players in the world. Now why is that? Well at the same time that they're doing this, they're going to externally rotate, abduct, hinge that wrist, get that right shoulder down and get more open. So now, I still haven't changed the amount of bend in my arm if I was to bring my left arm across like so. Now it looks like the right arm is bent significantly more. Now if I were to just change that to 160, just like so, that wasn't a major change, right? Well the difference is usually the guys at 160 have a lot less side bend, a lot less rotation, a lot less wrist extension, so it ends up looking something more like this. So while the elbow is a clear way to see some of those mechanics going on that I'm leading with kind of my core and my trunk and my, the inside of my arm creating that leg, it's not really something that you need to hold off of. It's a product of accelerating from another uh, place or accelerating from the right place, which is why we talk about how the elbows work within the site.